Hello there, good day. Do you want to know about portfolio beta coefficient? Then you should watch this video, all right? Okay, so a portfolio consisting of low beta securities will itself have a low beta because the beta of any set of securities is a weighted average of the individual securities betas. The beta of the portfolio reflects how volatile the portfolio is in relation to the market. Okay. For example, if an investor holds a 1 million peso portfolio consisting of 333,333 invested in each of three stocks and each of the stocks has a beta of 0.8, what is the portfolio's beta? Okay. So the portfolio's beta would be one third multiplied by 0 0.8 plus one third 0.8 plus one third 0.8 okay one third because there are three stocks okay and uh the portfolio consisting of 333.300 of uh, 333,333 pesos that's one third of the one million peso total investment okay so the portfolio beta is 0.8 now so such a portfolio will be less risky than the market, okay? So this portfolio, which has a portfolio beta of 0.8, is less risky than the market. It should experience relatively narrow price swings and have relatively small rate of return fluctuations. So using the scatter diagram, or the scatter graph, the slope of the regression line would be 0.8, which is less than that for a portfolio of average stocks, because the portfolio of the average stock has a beta of one, and this one has a beta of 0.8. Okay, now suppose that one of the existing stocks is sold and replaced by a stock with B sub one is equal to two. Okay, so this action will increase the riskiness of the portfolio from 0.8 to 1.2. Why? Okay, so because this would be now the portfolio beta. Okay, so 0.33 times 0.8 plus 0.333 times 0.8 plus now the new investment okay that's 0.333 times 2 okay okay so that is equal to 1.2 so adding a new beta stack would reduce the riskiness of the portfolio all right so let's take a look with this illustrative case so you are investing 57.1 percent or 200,000 pesos out of 350,000 pesos of your monthly savings in stocks. You are also contributing 28.6% in bonds and 14.3% into a money market treasury bills issued by the BSP. The diversified stock portfolio has a beta of one. The long-term bond portfolio has a beta of 0.18. The treasury bills are risk-free and thus have a beta of zero. So the beta of this portfolio is therefore, okay, 0.571 from 57.1% multiplied by one. Okay, because the diversified stock portfolio has a beta of one. Okay, plus 0 
Okay, this is 28.6% in bonds. Multiply by 0.18. Why 0.18? Because the long-term bond portfolio has a beta of 0.18. Bonds is a long-term bond. Plus 0.143, so this is 14.3%. And zero, because the treasury bills issued by the BSP is a risk-free investment. And thus, the beta is zero. So the portfolio beta of this investment is 0.62, right? So with a portfolio beta of 0.62, a market return of, let's say, 11% and a risk-free rate of 5%, you can expect a return of 8.7%. That's 5%. Plus 0.62 multiplied by 11% minus 5%, that's 8.7%. So if you want a higher expected return, you will have to take more risk. So this can be done by increasing your investment in the stock portfolio. All right, so that uh, you can always say that the higher the risk, the higher the return. So... The, uh, my next video would be about the relationship between risk and uh, return, all right? Okay, so for now, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day, everyone.